What is going on, you guys? I'm back with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Legacy United Infernac Universe Shard. So before we get to Shard, let's go over the packaging. So you have Shard here in his heli her helicopter mode. Nice big image of her over here on the side. You got your obligatory legacy artwork here on the other side. And your product shots here on the back. There's gears. So here is Shard in her helicopter mode. And just like in uh, Magnus and uh, Boulder Crash, she is an Infernac based on the Rock Lords. But I've come to learn that uh, she, since her name is Shard, she is made of crystals. More specifically, Death Crystals. Which does... Uh, these are the crystals that were... Uh, I think they were in Jetfire's debut episode. These crystals are highly toxic to uh, Cybertronians. So it's interesting that she turns into a helicopter made of death crystals. But yeah, so you can see her rotors spin nice and freely. Love that. So yeah, here she is. Uh, here she is with focus. Yes, pull the crash. And with Magnus. So now we're going to break her apart into weapons and we're going to try to weaponize something out of this. So, so here's a whole bunch of parts. <laughs> and, um,. Yeah, I've got no idea where to start with this. And our little testing dummy is going to be a little one up here. So, uh, let me, let me try something. Okay, after some finagling, this is what I was able to come up with. And, um, yeah. Maybe using the Lita wasn't the smartest idea, but so let's just take that off. But that's fine. Put it in the other hand. So now she's got these weird things on her. I don't know any other way to weaponize these things. They're not like the Junkions. So, let's just get Shard into her robot mode. Okay. Robot mode. And, um... I like it. I've got a couple of nitpicks. But that's just me. So, let's get a close-up look at the face. I love the face sculpt. Uh, with a uh, translucent green light piping overall looks really cool articulation wise heads only on them so arms can do a full 360 they can go in and out at this joint which is unfortunate uh, there is a waist hips can go forward back in and out thigh knee downward and swivel so you can get some good poses out of this um now weapon wise you can do all sorts of things you can plug these in up here There's shoulder guns you can put them in her hands uh can they go back here? Has... Yeah, but the, the rotor kind of messes with it. You can kind of just... Oh, wait. Not in focus. There we go. You can kind of just do it however you want, but... Me, personally, I kind of like the hand blaster a little, but... 
I, I wish there wasn't some way to... I don't know. The arms make it look a little too plain, but... Well, so... Put these on her four arms. Look at how she's got... Death Crystal bazookas. And then... You can put... Actually, can you? Nope. You can only hold the swords this way. So you can put... Put two in sideways. That way you've got some arm swords. And the other ones can... Just sit back here on the rotor. I guess that's kind of how I would do it. But yeah. Um, these parts are removable. Without them, the legs look very plain. So there's that. Now for comparison. Okay, so here's a little boulder crash. Here's Magnus. I think shards taller. Um, for normal deluxe. Here's Alito. Focus. There's that. And for a Voyager Thundertron. Overall, though, what I think of a shard, pretty okay. Oops. I like the uh, Infern the idea of the Infern the. Infernak characters, but I don't know. I think the Junkions were more fun. I mean, these guys are fun, too. It's just, they're not as weaponable as um, the Junkions or even the Modulators. I mean, these guys are fun. I like them. But, yeah. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, yeah, so this has been the review for the Legacy United uh, Infernac Shard. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you all later.